Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. This time, Sportsman Z here with the look at some of the players in this year's hockey set, Stratomatic Hockey. Uh, the, uh, the game just dropped, and uh, the cards are on the way. And uh, I'm going to take a look at some of the computer cards of some of the players on some of the teams. Now, I did get some input from a friend of mine who is a big Stratomatic guy and hockey fan. So, uh, hopefully, I won't get too many people telling me, how could you have done this video and you didn't include this guy, you know, or whatever guy. So, uh, hopefully, that isn't going to happen. But, who knows? I mean, that seems to always happen. But I do, I mean, you know, we have a limited time here. I don't want to make a six-hour video and going through all the players. Plus, with the hockey set, the cards, the way the hockey cards on the in the computer screens look is not really, um, not really visually appealing. So you have to, you know, it, it, it's going to be kind of difficult. Um you know, it's not like the baseball card. You put up a baseball, a computer baseball card, you know, people know. You know, they can see what that looks like. Even the football cards, the computer football cards even look a lot better than the computer hockey cards. The computer hockey cards are terrible. But we're going to take a look anyway. So um, let's start off. Uh, let's see. Let's start off with the... Um, the New York Islanders, my team. And uh, we're just going to look at Varlamov here. Varlamov had a pretty good year. He had a 260 goals against average and a 918 save percentage. And that is what his card looks like. Um, so, you know, you make your own judgments whether that's good or bad. I think it's pretty good, but it, and it should be. Um, had good statistics, so that is the Varlamov card. Plus, I want to point out, any card you want to take a longer look at, you can just stop the video and take a really good look at it. Uh, but he, you know, he had five shutouts and uh, a save percentage of 918. So the next guy we're going to look at, we're going to look at uh, three goalies first. And the next guy we're going to look at is Heliobuck in Winnip Winnipeg. Now, statistically, you can see down, and by the way, his stats are down here at the bottom of the screen. The stats of all the players will be at the bottom of the screen. Um, he had a 239 goals against average and a 921 save percentage, which in this era of high scoring, which has happened recently, that is a good, uh, that's, those are good statistics. And that is a great card. He's just got a goal at 7 and then a goal 1-17 to 17 at 9. And he had eight shutouts. So, yeah, very good card. And the next guy we're going to look at is a guy who had an incredible playoffs. And that is going to be Bobrovsky. And Bobrovsky just happens to be on my OHA team. So, I'm real happy about that. So, we'll go to Florida. Check out Bobrovsky. He had a 237 goals against average and a 915 save percentage. And, uh, again, pretty good card. He has a goal at 5, a goal at 9, and then a goal 1-17 to 17 at 10. So, uh, yeah, loving that. And he had 8 shutouts. So, uh, you know, I wish the save percentage had been a little higher. Because in the playoffs, man, the Bobrovsky in the playoffs is incredible. The guy is like a brick wall. But he doesn't do that all season long during the season. But those are good statistics, and it is a good card. Next guy we're going to go look at, we're going to go to Edmonton. And we're going to go look at, of course, Connor McDavid. Where is he? Where is Connor McDavid? There he is. Uh, 76 games, 32 goals, which is good, but 100 assists. That's crazy. 132 points for him. Let's, let's move him over. So that's what his card is going to look like. You got the uh, on the outside shot. You got the goal one to nine at two. You got the automatic goal at six, and then you got on inside shot. You got a goal at two, a goal one to twelve at three, 
automatic goals at six and seven, and of course rebounds. Forget it. That guy's gonna he's gonna bury it. So uh, that is McDavid. The next guy we're gonna look at is Toronto and Matthews, and I was kind of shocked about this. Um, this was one of the ones that my buddy suggested I look at, and when I saw the stats, when I saw, here you go, 81 games played, 69 goals. When I saw the 69 goals, I thought that was games played. I thought that's how many games. No, that's his goals. So let's take a look at the 69 goal, uh, goals and 38 assists. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a goal 1-14 to 14 up at 2 and on outside shot, and then an automatic goal at 7. Then a goal one to eight. on inside shot. He's got a goal one to eighteen at three, automatic goals ex- at six, seven, and nine, and then rebound. Forget it. I mean, he's gonna again. He's gonna bury it. So that's Matthews. You got Connor Bedard is the next guy. We're gonna go to Chicago. The rookie Connor Bedard, and he now he had he was injured at one point in the season, so he only played sixty eight games, but he had twenty two goals. And 39 assists, and I will have the first pick in our draft this year. So I am certainly planning on taking Connor Bedard with that pick. Um, he has a goal 1-10 to 10 at 2 on outside shot, and then an automatic goal at 5. On inside shot, goal 1-11 to 11 at 3, automatic goal at 4, and 6, and 11. So that's what, uh, that's what he's got. And, of course, you can look down here, too. You can see some of these other statistics, like, um, you know, like his skating ability. He's a skating 8. For assists, he's a 7L, which is very good. So, you know, those are other things you can look at while I'm bringing the cards up. Uh, The next guy we got, we're going to look at McKinnon in Colorado. And let's go, let's see. Where is he? There he is, Nathan McKinnon. 82 games played, 51 goals, 89 assists. He's a 10L passing. That is crazy good. He's a 4 offensively and a 4 defensively rated. Unbelievable. So here's his card. He's got a goal 1-13 to at 2 on outside shot, then then automatic goals at 6 and 11. Then on inside shot, he has an automatic. Uh, he has automatic goals at three, six, seven, and then a goal one to eighteen at eleven. Unreal. Uh, the next guy we're going to look at is Jack Hughes in New Jersey, and we will be looking at another Hughes a little later on. But right now we're looking at Jack Hughes. Uh, Jack Hughes, again, probably was injured last year. He only played 62 games, but he had 27 goals and 47 assists. He's a 7L passing. He's a 4 offensively and a 4 defensively. And uh, there's his card. Uh, outside shot. Now, this this is a really pretty good outside shot. This is one of the better ones we've seen so far. Goal 1-9 to nine at 2. Uh, goal plus, which is um, on, on the power play, 1-4 to four at 3. Then an automatic at six, and then um, a uh, a power play goal at twelve. Then on inside shot, he's got an automatic. He's got automatic goals at two, six, seven, and then a goal one to twelve at three, and then uh, um, power play goals at eleven and twelve, uh, with eleven being a one to seven. So uh, he's a 7L passer as well. He is four offensively, four defensively. Next guy we're going to go look at is Chris Kreider of the Rangers. So we'll bring up Kreider. Kreider played 82 games. He played all year. He had 39 goals, 36 assists. He's a 14 skater and uh, a 4L passing. Four offensively and two defensively. And uh, there's his card. And, I mean, with some of these guys, I'm just going to bring them up. You can look at them. I mean, uh, you know, going over, uh, just telling you what the card looks like is you can just look at it yourself. So there's his card. Um, Shooting percentage, 15.9, and that's another thing you can look at. Um, 
when I bring up these cards. So, uh, who else are we going to look at? Connect me in, in Philadelphia. And uh, Travis Konechny played 76 games. He had 33 goals, 35 assists. He's a 5L passer, 14 skater. And uh, on the um, when, it, when, when shorthanded, if he's skating, he has a chance to get a breakaway on a 1-2. to two. Uh, He is a 4 offensively and a 5 defensively. Really good. And so there's his card. There's his, what is... Um, Scoring guard looks like. And we're, we'll move along quick, uh, briskly here. Next you've got um, Crosby, Sidney Crosby. He played uh, all year, 82 games, 42 goals, 52 assists for 94 points. He was a 4 offensively and a 5 defensively, skating 10, and a 7L passer. I mean, the guy is like 70, and he's still got these kinds of numbers. So there's his uh, card. Again, like many of these guys, on a rebound, forget it. He's going to bury it. Um, really good. And the next guy we're going to look at is Kucherov of Tampa Bay. So we're going to Tampa Bay and Nikita Kucherov. 81 games played, 44 goals, 100 assists for 144 points. He was a 4 offensively, a 2 defensively, skating 10, and a 12L passer. Some of these guys, this is crazy. I think maybe Strat made up these numbers for these guys for this year. Uh, but there's the card. And now, literally on rebound, he only misses on... Um, on eight, where he gets another rebound, forces another rebound, and on 12. Otherwise, chance to score every one of them. Crazy. Um, the next one we have is Quinn Hughes. Now, this is the other Hughes we're going to look at, Vancouver and Quinn Hughes. He played 82 games. He had 17 assists, seven, or 17 goals and 75 assists. He was a four offensively, a three defensively, um, and he is an 8L passer. Now, the scoring card, you know, obviously he only had 17 goals, so that's not going to be quite as impressive as some of those other numbers, especially as associated with his assists and his passing. But, yeah, I mean, good player. And finally, we're going to look at the old man, the old man Ovechkin, Alex Ovechkin. 79 games, 31 goals, 34 assists for 65 points, 5L passer. He's a 4 offensively and a 3 defensively, and he's only really gotten defensive-minded like in the last five years, I think. Before that, he didn't even give a damn about defense. So uh, there's his card. That's what his uh, scoring card looks like. Of course, good. Skating 8. Uh, shooting percentage 11.4%. So there's him. And uh, let's see. Anybody else? I mean, I'm just trying to think. Is there anybody else that I'm missing? There probably are a lot of guys. Like if you're a fa you know if your favorite team is somebody else, uh, let's see who, who we got here uh, on Carolina. Carolina was a good team, so let's see. Well, there you go. You've got Aho, Sebastian Aho. He had 78 games played, 36 goals, 53 assists. He was a four offensively and a five defensively, a skating 14, and a 6L passer. And that's what his card looks like. And again, another guy where on the rebound, he literally only misses on 12. And, um, and on 8, where it's, uh, you know, a rebound, a mandatory rebound. So there you go on, uh, on Aho. So anyway, that's uh, about all I'm going to look at. Uh, it's uh, late at night as I'm recording this. Not really late at night, but it's uh, late enough for a... 58-year-old man like myself. But 
that was a good look at some of the guys, some of the cards. Um, if there was some player you probably were hoping that I was going to look at and I didn't, I apologize. But, I mean, these are a lot of players and I can't, like I said, I'm not going to do a two-hour video. But um, if I get enough requests of uh, enough players that people want to see, I will consider doing a part two like I did with the football computer cards. But for right now, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.